I realized I'm actually quite behind with the series on my channel. Ah, uh, guess I'm gonna have to do some catching up. Anyways, the next champion that I would like to learn is actually Elise. The reason why I wanted to play her is because I was watching a YouTube video the other day. It was about Elise Mid by the YouTuber Happy Chime Noises. He's a pretty popular YouTuber and he makes a bunch of interesting videos about off-meta builds. And I was watching the video and I thought, damn, one-shotting people with Elise Mid might be actually pretty fun to try out. That was it though. It actually didn't go any further than that until today. Today is February 20th, and I was playing a ranked game in my extremely high elo of bronze, and I noticed Aramis, he was a jungler, and he was literally doing nothing. He was the worst power farmer the game has ever seen. It was atrocious, it was terrible, it was so bad. Never played with the team, never played with for the team, never played for objectives, didn't care about the game state at all. This is the day that I am making the decision, I might have to jungle. In my opinion, I hate it when a random team member of mine picks a gank heavy jungler such as Ramus or Nunu and then begins to just perma farm their own jungle. Not even the enemy jungle, they just begin to ignore everything else that happens in the game. So in the famous words of Dylan himself, why don't you play jungle? And that my friends, that is what I'm doing today. Okay. Well, how am I supposed to play Elise? And most importantly, how am I supposed to jungle with Elise? Well, let me help you. Elise is a really, really early game jungler that likes to take the fight to the enemy. Her first three levels consist of a red, blue, and gromp clear. Then, going out and either ganking a lane, taking the scuttle crab, or looking for a fight with the enemy jungler. For a majority of the time, especially in lower brackets of play, you will be able to beat or outplay the enemy jungler in a 1v1 fight. This gives you a lot of early game pressure for invades, crabs, and other objectives. This is what we will be playing around. I need to be ganking my laners often to make sure that I get that sweet, sweet early lead. Alright, I think I've played this champion for a day. Maybe I can try ranked. Alright, here's our game plan. Go mid, get a kill. Go top, I die, but that's okay, because I still got the kill. Did Fizz die? Oh well, I guess I'm just going to go back to mid, and I'm just going to clean up that kill really quick. Alright, time to go bot lane. I'm just going to get a double kill really quick. Alright, back to bot lane. This time I'll give the ADC the kill. Bot lane once more, and uh, hmm, maybe I can get a one for one. Alright, last time, go mid, get the shutdown, and... I still lose the game. Obviously something is going wrong here. Alright guys, uh, not gonna lie, that was pretty tilting. So I did this thing that you shouldn't really do, it's called rage queuing, but for some reason this time it actually worked. I don't know why it worked, but I guess that's it for this video. Uh, it was pretty short, so I guess I'm gonna make another one really really soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.